everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. It's a hockey ultimate team showdown, and we are ready to bring the noise. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. The Indians have won the draw, and we are now underway. Takes it to the net. Point blank stop by Milich. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. The Oilers will play from the defensive zone. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Still has possession. Bouchard stick handling in his own zone. Boston's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Much needed one of that. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have just been taking control of in their own zone, James, and they needed this reset. They needed the goaltender to pounce on that puck. They can all collect themselves and get a line change. Boston's won the faceoff. James, but I, what I love about it is the effort to get to that area, that low slot area. You know you're going to have to pay the price. You're going to have to fight for position. He does all of it, and he gets rewarded. Boston's been pushing hard here early in this first period, and look at that. Their hard work pays off with a goal. Uh, there's so many mini games within a game, James, and to start the period, you can look at it as one, and they have certainly dominated in that area, and that when you start the game like this, you dictate the pace, and that's exactly what they wanted to do, and send a strong message to their away opponent that when you come into our barn, you're not going to win the W. Left to be played in this period. One nothing to score. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Oilers have it now. Takes it and looks ahead. The Oilers looking against the half wall. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Boston's got it in the neutral zone. Here we go, one man rush. McCarr is going to play the puck behind the cage. Oh, he comes up with a stop as he got the glove on it. Made the stop on that play. Oh, he denies him again. Oh, man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We got a one nothing game to this point. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Move the puck in the defensive zone. The Indians ready to go on the attack. And that goes off the glove play continues here. Oh, and he makes another save. Oh, did I him again? Gains the zone through center. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. The Oilers gain possession. Great positioning by the defender. Boston's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. The Indians have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. Barkov's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Stop some cold! Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Back hitter in front. That goes off a twig. Picked up along the boards by Green. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Boston's got the puck. McCarr is going to play it against the half wall. And he takes a shot. Gives him nothing in front. Drives to the sweet spot. Scores! Oh, she passed on that little rebound and puts it in. Well, James, I can tell you that players nowadays, they work on this play. It's happened down all day long. Boston's on a mission to 
first. Well, they've really controlled the puck. And in fact, they've dominated throughout the first 20 minutes of the game, James. They've had their opponent chasing, and when they chase, they put the puck to the net. They've had great shooting opportunities, and they've taken them. James and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. The Indians already lead it by a significant margin here late in this first period. Face off here in the neutral zone and we are back underway. Boston's got the puck along the wall. The backhand! Great save from in tight. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Boston's coaches wanted a lot of shots on net, and the team has delivered so far leading late in the first. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Forces the turnover. Easy pad save made by Milich. There's back to back saves. Covers it up, we're going to stop it in play. Here in the late goal into the frame, Boston's got a three-goal lead. Dreisaitl has won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. In close! Stones him in front! Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp, he'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Puck possession so critical, another faceoff coming up here. Boston's won the draw, no go to work. Shuts it down with the paddle, what a stop. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Sends the feed in front, and that doesn't go as it's off the stick, and makes the save. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's without working your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Big save, just as time runs out. First 20 minutes of play is in the books. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. And there's a violent collision. And there's 
here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. And they'll keep on playing as icing is waved off. Oh, that's a pat on that one. What a stop. Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and scored. She does a great job of anticipating the original shot and fights the interior of the ice for a rebound, receives it, goes high glove and just whistles it by the ear. Boston's been the dominant team tonight, and look at the score here, but I think it starts to the back end there, Cheryl. Well, it really does. This has been a clinic in terms of a 200-foot game. you got to protect your goaltender and take care of your own zone if you want to get going north, and that's exactly what they've done, and they've generated a ton of chances creating their offense out of the rush. The Indians have the puck now. Steps inside. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. From the neutral zone now. Quick shot! A little stoppage in play as the whistle's blown. It looks like that pane of glass got busted from that shot. Oh, oh. There used to be that saying, they don't make them like they used to. James, well, in this case, it's all for the better as the glass, the technology is so much stronger and a blistering shot. You know that it's going to crack or spider the glass. But nowadays, you can just replace the pane. So we'll have to wait for the maintenance crew to make sure that they take care of it. The Indians play it along. shot a ton. It's the quick release, James. A seeing eye shot that the goaltender is able to track down. And I don't know how it happened, but the net front presence is there. He waited for it. He let the shot go. Bowling makes a huge save. Boston's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Blocked in front. the puck in the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. From in close. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Milich. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Moves it to Makar. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Oh, look at this chance. Boston's got it behind the net. Look out! And play continues as that goes off the glove. Oh, it stops again! Milic's save percentage has been excellent, and he's doing everything to stand tall in the crease. Now it's time for his team to start playing for him. They gotta get going north, but the first thing they need to do is retrieve the puck and stop chasing the game. You have to constantly remind yourself to move your feet and get closer to the action. You wind up reaching, you take the feet out of your opponent, you wind up with a tripping ball. The Oilers will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, here comes the top unit power play. They've been tremendous this season. They have an opportunity to ignite their team and get back in the game. And nearing the final minute of the second. Here's a shot. Oh, he gets in front of that to make a great save. Gains the zone through the middle. Boston's penalty killers get a hold of it. Green's got it along the wing. On the backhand. Big save in front. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. Just moments away from the reception of this power play to ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Gains control of the puck here on the blue line. Takes a shot. Gets a glove on it to keep it up. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next.
Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. The Oilers go right back at it on the power play here and win the draw to start the frame. Through center along the wing. Quick pass to Parkov. No, it's just going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. Especially teams, they can create energy or they can take it away. And this effective BK, wow, what an opportunity. And the chances they get, the momentum has shifted. The Indians are on cruise control here in this third period, leading big. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Oh, they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Harvey's got it in the defensive zone. Skates across the blue line. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Tremendous stop by Milic. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Indians came out with jump, and they have been non-stop right from the start, leading 4-0. Shot! He scores! the critical nature of an ozone face-off, James. When you win it, you own possession and you can attack the net. The Indians are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving, holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Scoops up the puck now. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Shot on net, and he's got that one. the beginning of the game and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. Grabs the puck in the slot. Lambert's going to hang on for a whistle. Boston's been way more active here tonight on the ice and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. Puts it on net. Oh, and she gets all of that one. What a stop there. The Indians have been relentless in the offensive zone tonight, and they continue to lead in the third. Milton's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Turns it away. Something happened along the boards. To the low slot. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Puck goes out of play. We got a face off coming up. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. With the back end. Starting goaltender, and then you go put in your second, your backup. She's cold, 
off. She's not quite ready for the game, and then she lets one in. This is a tough game. It's ugly. Boston's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. The Oilers take it along the wall. The Indians gain control of the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Boston's got the puck behind the net. Gets a stick on it. Scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gonna be looking for the hat. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. Boston's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Takes it along the wall by Marchand. And she turns that one aside. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. And somehow he hangs on. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Boston's show no signs of slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. Scooped up along the wall by Kachuk. And he passes it up ahead tonight. Takes it into the slot. Puck scooped up by Dreisaitl. And makes the routine save. Stopped on the wraparound as she read it perfectly. Power push and flexibility. James, goaltenders have to have it. And she shows her skill set right there as she's able to make that save. Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. Penalty coming up here. The Indians don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Aginla's taking it from his own end. The Indians played along the boards. Here he is from the slot. Big save. Oh, I love the way that she shuts the door on this one, James. Awareness to know where the puck is in that low slot and get in front of it to make it. To the front. Here he is in close. Made that stop. If you can put a couple of these shifts together, you have your opponent on their heels, but you have to find a way to convert and drive the net. And look at this! They turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker! Takes possession here! Now it's picked up by the defense! And they skate it out of the danger zone! Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone! Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out! Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. Hooks it away, great hand high. PK is a skill set, James. You have to have the ability to read and anticipate, and they did an effective job, and they got some huge opportunities. Oh, I think that went off the hooks in the net, but the whistle sounds blowing the play down. Boston's offense has put on a show tonight, and here they are in blowout mode late the third. Seidel's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And play rolls on as she came up with a big stop there. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive end of the whole crowd is loving this. Oh, what a hit there. Cutting to the net. Oh, what a save. And some physicality here. And the game's got it in the right. And 
Richard's got the puck in his own zone. And they send it right back to him. The final horn sounds, and it's time to soak it all in. And not only with the W, he also gets the shutout in this one, Cheryl. Strong effort defensively. A great effort, and he was the last line of defense and really tracked well. And in particular, he anticipated the play, made some great reads, and what about his rebound control? as much fun as we did here tonight and we will see you the next time at least we hope so from all of us here at ea sports take care everyone